Right guys, so, um, covering. We've got the rudder, and I think this is the first thing we made, this is going to be the first thing we're going to cover. So hopefully you've had a good sand, you've had a good feel round and you can't notice or feel any little sharp points because those sharp points will now show up on the covering. We've got a number of choices. In the kit, you're provided with yellow and white tissue paper. So the idea of this is <clears throat> you would cut these pieces to size, you would then glue them on and then you would then apply a uh, product just to shrink that. It's quite smelly and um, you're not going to be very popular in the house unless you're actually doing it in a workshop. So um, I'll give it a suck that one off. Um, another alternative, um, iron on products. Um, the one I've chosen is a product called Solar Tex. The reason I've done it, it's a little bit heavy for this kit, but I've chosen this for a number of reasons. You can have them, uh, which is solar film, which is some lovely see-through colours, and they're a little bit lighter, not quite as hard wearing. And one of the reasons I've gone for these, well the two reasons I've gone for this is one, um, it's a sort of um, vintage look to it, so it's like a fabric appeal to it. And the other thing is I think Solatex is uh, slightly better for scrapes, so uh, if you know you land and um, you know it's, it's you know, near some bushes or twigs or anything like that, you'll find that this has got more scratch abrasion, not that we're planning to go in any hedges or bushes with this. But I just think that this is a slightly uh, firmer, better uh, covering. Now, so you've got that. Uh, the only other thing you need to do is you need to get yourself a really nice sharp pair of scissors and a very sharp knife. Now, we're going to apply this with, um, you can buy uh, this product, which is known as um, an iron, it's a covering iron. Um, this is specific just for uh, covering aircraft. Um, it's got a temperature gauge to it. And so the idea is, and I, I'm going to go through this process. But so there's that one. I think they're sort of 19, sort of 20, 30 quid, something to buy. If you don't want to do that, and this is only going to be the only model you're going to ever cover, um, as long as mum's not uh, looking, you can just use a domestic iron. So what I am going to do, just to prove that it can be done, I'm now going to cover the uh, tail surfaces just in the iron, uh, just with the iron, and we'll see how it does. Right guys, good idea. If you just get the template, like so, for the nose template, there's plenty of offcuts. You can actually have a practice with this. So you just lay the solar text on top. You get your iron. The iron I've got is just past the uh, number two setting. This goes right up to number three. So what I'll do is you need, might need to start off cold. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just literally going to tack that down like so and uh, you see how that is now stuck to the structure so all I would do now is just literally run around the edge so you've just got a little bit left over and the idea is we're just going to tuck all that over uh, now the tip is keep the iron moving at all times if you don't keep the iron moving you'll get a hot spot and what the hot spot will do is it one it's going to pull up and if I just generate a hot spot like that what will happen is look it's it's overheated that and what we've ended up doing now is bowing the wood and it may even burn through um, but you can see that this has now stuck quite firmly to that wood so that's an indication that I've got that at about the right temperature so what I've done is I've just cut out two blanks of the solar tex and I'm literally I'm just going to lay them over there and what you want is you want it just um, extended all around because what we want to do is tack it down and then fold the edges over one side when we've done one side like so the other side is going to go on like so and then what we'll do is we'll then that will then make it a really nice joint.
Right guys, <clears throat> basic covering. You can see it's a little, just a little bit saggy in the centre. Now, the beauty of this particular material is, is if you ply the iron, it shrinks. Uh, but we've got to be very careful because this is a very light structure and what we don't want to do is shrink and shrink and shrink so we end up twisting the, the uh, rudder. So what we'll do is, just holding it down on the bench, I'm just going over these main surfaces but when you've just put them on there, just I just like to hold it down in place till it cools. Only a couple of seconds. Then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do absolutely the same. Each panel, just run the iron over the little um, intersections that we built in balsa. And then leave that again. It doesn't have to be mega tight because um, it's quite a strong material this Solotex and it will begin to deform the rudder. So look at that. Lovely. Looks like a real vintage glider now. So I'm just going to carry on. That literally practice with this. Um, and it goes wrong. You can always make yourself another. We've got enough materials there. So if you go and spoil that, I know there's enough left in the box to be able to make yourself another uh, fin. So have a go at trying to cover the fin. Then when you feel confident, we go on to the fin post. Then we go do the tail surfaces. And then the next thing is, is what we do in the wings. Um, it's exactly the same process, but I will give you some tips when we come to do the wings. But uh, this is what we need to be getting on with now.